Then quarreling and them balling, no, they want to see. Now let me give you some space up to the time. However, most importantly, Intent seems to be under threat for a tragic road accident. Okay. You have some Jamaican man. Where did I swing it with P, did he? I have a message for Vibes Cartel. Don't make the mistake of calling up alkaline name or dropping any shades on alkaline because that is when your career is going to end subscribe or go on big up on the seven beautiful people i don't know all the thing going on respect our manners goes out to one and all from when i see we're roping and i know we have a couple things to talk about no yeah man you don't know where i go step into it without no itching up so we see we're dance all superstar alkaline enters the Grammy conversation, my people. Stay tuned for that. Also, we see where Vibes Cartel and him son, Little Addy, you know, have a little tug of war upon the charts as well. Plus, you know, we see where Vibes Cartel got strict warning from an alkaline fan, my people. It looks serious. So, stay tuned for that. We also see where a spiritualist uh, exposed some deep trouble with Bunty Killer, Beanie Man, and also intense in you know, my people. Also, we see where Cargo reacted to, you know, fans where I say, yo, Vibes Cartel should reach out and help and, you know, visit Lieutenant Stitchy and all type of whatever they must say, my people. Plus, also, the PDD situation with dancehall artists, name where I call up and all of them things, my people. Also, when I see where another prominent social media influencer, a call name, and I say, you know, some dancehall artists look suspicious as it relates to the whole PDD thing. So, about that things that they talk about, people, as usual, do the right subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell let's get into it my people yes my people starting out this blog with dance all artists alkaline as we're telling you earlier in the intro where the artist is um submitted a song that is up for Grammy consideration. You see what I say, my people? Yeah, man. According to what we see was submitted is now left the game. You see what I say? And it is submitted to us like three different categories. You see? Yeah, man. Record of the year, song of the year, and best global music performance. You see, pre my people. Yeah, man. You don't know uh, three tough categories them there still. But nonetheless, the artist have him sang out the can see that so that is definitely a good look and you don't know when it comes on to like the grammy committee observing like you know ones were close to alkaline me see that them would have put in the effort for try if you know join the co committee and have a uh, understanding of how the thing works so them submitting that my people me think them know exactly where they do as it relates to it getting nominated that would have been this um, historical because as I say, a lot of them categories they are global categories so that is definitely not that wouldn't be a normal thing my people you see? but that the end idea we are what you are going you know you can't tell me what you think what you thoughts or your views as it relates to that now I left the game from alkaline you know up for a grammy consideration my people you see record of the year song of the year best global music performance of the year leave your thoughts and tell me what you think about that my people Mexico since we are on the topic of alkaline my people when i see we are an empress put forward an argument as it relates to alkaline and cartel as it yeah man she seems like she is a big alkaline fan or of extreme confidence in the artist talent you see yeah man mums i say any wrong move vibes cartel make you know that would be the end of him clash career per se. You see what I say because she confident that alkaline is the is on another level. You know when it comes down to clashing and him witty and intelligent and smart. My people, take a listen at what she is. I have a message for Vibes Cartel. Don't make the mistake of calling up alkaline name or dropping any shades on alkaline. Because that is when your career is going to end. Because alkaline rudeness is on a whole other level. And his smarts is on a whole dimension. Okay? Do not make that mistake. As much as you're king of dancehall, remember, if you do that, you're done. I know you know better. 
Now, I'm also going to say that the only artists that found their footing in dance hall by using social media is Alkaline. But guess what? He's a genius. So he doesn't overexpose himself. You don't know if Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel, you don't know if Alkaline have a child. You don't know if he's broke. You only hear about it in his music, but you don't get to see it. That's what makes him a genius. That's what makes him different. Yes, so it's not about comparing you to the artist, but people want to undermine and discriminate against Alkaline to make it seem like he's a simpleton and he's not a simpleton. He is a genius. He is responsible for his own career and that is why a lot of people in dance hall do not like him. He single-handedly built himself and stood up in Babylon, you know, dance hall Babylon, with all the hate and discrimination that he got and came out as a champion. So, don't make the mistake. Because the ones who did in the past, they're cancelled. And as big as you are, as much as you stand in dance hall as the king, he is a prince, at least. And if you're a prince, that means you're getting ready to rule the throne at some point. Okay? Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't even make that mistake because alkaline is waiting for you yes my people that is the empress expressing confidence that alkaline would have won the clash in her see free as it relates to she is saying that you know if him step to a cartel or cartel step to him or whatever it go and him happen for clash um cartel career with a write-up or something like that or cancel in terms of like that term there me, me understand that if both artists clash one can win and one can lose. But I feel like when artists establish and they on a certain level, they, you know, in terms of like clash, when you say like them career cancel or re, re, re. In my view, the only type of artist me see like lose clash and you know them career right off is unless you was just not a good artist from the get-go. You see what I say? But most times from a two good artists and them clash, as we say, you can probably say one win and one lose. But you know, it will propel their career, promote them more, get them on another level. For example, the same Bounty Killer, Beanie Man, you see when I say clashing, take them to another level. Vibes Cartel and Mavado said we are clashing, take them on another level. Said we, you see when I say, yeah man, up until today, the ones can debate about who win and who lose. But at the end of the day, both artists still have them solid careers. So in terms of life, you say, if both of them clash, you know, this one the right after one the career or right after that or whatever. But I don't really agree to that. But I know say, you know, if both of them clash or ones that are made if both of them clash, you know, both fan base is confident that them artists would win. Because I know if you ask a Gaza fan right now, if Alkaline and Cartel should clash, who would have win? They would have said Vibes Cartel. And if you ask a Vendetta fan, they might say Alkaline. But... Based on who are listening at the comment section at this moment, you can't leave your thoughts and tell me what you think. If Vibes Cartel and Alkaline should clash, who you think would have win my people? Let me see that in the comment section. And, you know, me understand say I go have two little man where I go say, oh, ma, this man or that man now clash. But they don't really speak for Cartel or Alkaline. You see what I say? So, we will know in the future. But we are reason for what I go on now. So, tell me in the comment section, my people. Who you know, think could have win? Cartel or Alkaline? Make sure you comment on that. I want to see something. So, make a move on. Nigga, how about a big sound? What's she fever? It's a legal wall and it's a legal silver. Man of the match dog, send him money now, you're the cash for Amazon. Speaking of clashes, people, whether I have basically what I call a friendly clash, and we are talking about clashes on the chart. So, as it relates to YouTube trending number one, in and around Jamaica, we see where Vibes Cartel and his son, Little Addy, are wrestle for the number one spot. My people, you see what I say? You don't know they comment a trend for a while, you know, about two to three weeks at number one. And right now, we see where Little Addy released a song called Man of the Match, my people. And the song is going well in terms of viewership. We see where it gone about 700,000 in a three days. So you see, the fans, them are look. Uh, into our go on this. So it's song also feature vibes cartel as well, my people. But you don't know we see where it arrival the comet in terms of trending people. And you know, by the time 
I would have met that vlog and like me check the charts, I would have realized say, Little Addy actually overtake Vibes Cartel and a trend a number one. So that is definitely a good look for the Palmers. You see what I say? Yeah, man. And in terms of like music, you don't know a long time the youth them have put out music and so forth. So you don't know like how them father own me and how them can get the real boots, the real strength and so forth. So you know that's where the thing appear off. And in terms of the song, as I tell you from before, it's a nice song, nice concept, you know, not the, just a typical, yo, me chop the line, bang the line, the stand that where everybody has seen, you see it, yeah, I kind of, yeah, think out of the box and just present something where a man can just vibe to from a musical perspective, people, so that is that. Anyways, moving on, people, and also people that see we are popular Dance all artists enhance, you know. We are in and the old cartel I am father type of allegations where the people them are run with my people. You see what I say? And his argument towards it was, you know, funny. Me have to just laugh my people. You see what I say? Yeah, man, the man I say, yo, him see the internet I work with that argument, so him just I work with it too, you know. You see it, him not agree and him not deny anything, you see. But you don't know him answer the question respectful and it was understanding with what him I say. And the, you can watch like the full podcast on entertainment um report podcast. You see pre my people, yeah man. But this is just a little snippet and you can enjoy it and if you don't find it funny as well, make me know my people. Check it out. I said a lot of people are talking because according to what Sheba said. She said she met Cartel in 09, or 08 or 09. Those times, are you're, you're probably five, six already. So clearly, Cartel's not your dad, boss. Yeah. But again, I think that you say, okay, you know what? This seems to be working, you know, so I'm not going to 100% say no, but I'm not going to 100% say yes either. Uh, the internet, Agia Fara. Mm-hmm. This man is a legend in, in the field of me in China, dance or music. Um, I never saw my father before. My mother never saw my father. and AG never said that before. <laughs> but they never not said. So I, me, I look at me, I, 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 I follow when I see them. I do. Yeah. Remember, you know, big boss. Me born after these two people, I don't know if they tell me the truth. <laughs> but I don't know if it's like that. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, but big up vibes cartel, mm -hmm. said we I'm a musical father so far. Mm -hmm. Based off of me. No, I'm a musical grandfather then. Cause they would have classified my mother as him daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. So yeah, that no. Yeah. For a spiritually step out and say, yo, him get a vision from the ancestors as Usual, you know, the spiritualists them always depend on the internet. You know, the other day when Vibes Cartel was released, initially, you would know, see a portion of them come out and say them have message and, you know, God tell them this and devil tell them that and all sorts of people tell them all sorts of things. However, the spiritualist is saying that he's not a cloud chaser and he not really touch them topic here. But the ancestors, them give him an urgent message and him just have to deliver it to my people. And the message would, or should be delivered to Bounty Killer, Beanie Man and also Intense, my people. So, we are going to listen to what I go on and we can tell more anything. Check this out. For those who know me and have been following my page and know me in real life, you guys all know that I'm not the person who keeps up with entertainment trends and dance all stuff, all of them things. That's not my thing. I'm a traditionalist. I try to educate and motivate using our original traditions. It's not what I do. However, I received messages in my dream for for three artists, for three prominent musical artists, two of them older and the one you see here intense, younger guy, my generation. So let me deal with the first two, which are Bounty Killer and Beanie Man. My respects to you elders, peace and love to you. Um, it seems that you're both threatened by some health issues, okay? You're threatened by some health issues, some real serious health issues, okay? Not flu and cold kind of health issues. So I'm asking you please to get yourself checked out. I mean, you don't have to take this seriously, 
you know, many people don't take spiritual messages seriously. But if this reaches to you and you feel moved to check it out, check out yourselves, please. Especially bounty. Now let me deal with intense. Peace to you, my brother. Um, if this gets to you, let me say this. You got to where you are through spiritual means. I don't know the details of your the work that you put in to reach to where you are spiritually. But I seem to get the impression and the message that you and your, your priest, the spiritual person that looks after you, are not on good terms. Seems that like you've lost confidence with that person. Um, also, one of the spirits, the ancestral spirits that helped you to reach to where you are, seems like a grandmother or a great grandmother. For whatever reason, she's very upset with you. I don't know why. It seems that she's upset with you. However, most importantly, intent seems to be under threat for a tragic road accident. Okay? You don't have to take my word for it. I am just giving the message that I got. I don't usually do this. Those who know me know that I will speak privately about my dreams. But I was told by an ancestor that I must warn the people. And this is the word that I got. Okay? Uh, you guys, Anybody can say anything about me. Call me any name you want. I don't care. I am simply doing what the ancestors told me to do. Okay? So intense. Watch your back. Alright? Yeah, my people. So that is what the man has said. I said to you. So being the man and bounty killer. Say them to check in with the doctors. Then because the ancestor has tell them. Say, you know, sickness has come them way. And also as it relates to intense. You know, he would have say intense. I in the spirituality thing as well. I don't know if I show him see intense by the internet or beard in a blue or whatever it is, my people. But you know, the man has said the ancestors tell him say yo intense and the spiritualist them in a cast cast my people. I don't know anything, you know, if you feel like it's just a sham argument to get some views or you feel like he might speak from a genuine perspective. Let me see what I say in the comment section as it relates to that, my people. And also, we are going to move on to an argument as it relates to cargo. You see what I say? Yeah, man, when I see where cargo, we are in a bit as it relates to Lieutenant Stitchy. Um, we are with us, we are fans come out and I say, yo, cartel, fee. Don't need a thing to stitch your, you know, check in pan stitch you and all of them things there. See what I say? Cargo would have had his own view upon that. Plus, also, I speak as it relates to, you know, the whole PDD um, thing we are going on and also the Jamaican artists, them and also Jamaicans and so forth. Take a listen to these people. Mother Road, God of Road. Hey, you know what I'm here to do? All of we are. Hypocrite, you know, but sometimes all hypocrite have to talk truth. I see all of them jump and say if cartel go look for Stitchy. Stitchy did go look for cartel. I know I don't expect if you come out of my mouth. Why? Well, I see everybody has said Jamaica had the hunger place speedy, they couldn't get to a man for the aisle down. Are you kidding? Then how Peter King can't get them without aisle them now? Shibana can't get them without use aisle. Who oh, understand how Jamaican man loves sweets? Eh? Jamaican man loves sweets more than a girl them. May I tell you? Listen to me. Right now, I can't give you any maths. If Cartel for put up a hand and say, Oh no. Our take back shot, I can tell you, say, man, just a jumping at the rass line. Go suck on yourself. And that's why I don't want to kill Shalom. Poor Shalom. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> People, that is cargo, you know, and that is cargo speaking as it relates to the whole looting and stitchy argument. You see it, and as it relates to the whole stitchy argument, me see people that make a whole topic out of it, you know, like ones that are tell 
cartel say him need to go do this and him need to go do that. And me think the ones them would have overstep because you know it would be a nice gesture for vibes cartel or anybody you know reach out to Stitchy and help him or whatever. You see what I mean? I say. But I don't think it should be a bully thing or a bad man thing or yo you have to go do this or you have to go do that. You know just as Cargo say you know when cartel was in a predicament. I'm not sure if Stitchy did reach out either. You see what I'm saying? And this is not saying anything bad in regards to Stitchy, but you know, I feel like it's disrespectful for ones that make it seem like Vibes Cartel is obligated to do anything or contribute to anything. As we say, it would be a nice gesture if him take it into consideration and do it off of his own goodwill. But I think as something where nobody should demand. You see what I'm saying, my people? Yeah, man. So that is my view. And and as it relates to the PDD thing, my people, where Cargo mentioned, since we're on that topic, we are going to go straight to a discussion as it relates to that, where we we'll see where popular social media influencer 119 would we'll call out some artist name and I say them questionable because you know, see certain revelations as it relates to PDD on the internet. And right now, there are some artists in Jamaica where you used to power with. So, you more have to know what I want. Take a listen at this, my people. You have some Jamaican man. Where did I swing it with P. Diddy? I'm going to call them names. I am going to call names. You know, 119. I am going to call the names of all the men who did hop and hop in a P. Diddy. And now, now that we realize that P. Diddy was not on the straight and narrow, now that we realize that the feds find 1,000 buckle of baby oils in P. Diddy's house, I'll wear him did have a high up bottoms, a high up man bottoms and woman bottoms. All the guys in Jamaica, who were with P. Diddy swinging it and licking, swinging it with P. Diddy? I am going to call them names. Who no need to come tell me if P. Diddy did a high on the dung. Heading the list is Elephant Man. Elephant Man head the list. I want to know Elephant Man. Him name did a card pass on things are years now. They must say elephant man sick with the thing with the HIV. It's a big rumor. Say elephant man did have it so. Me no know. Me no know if me no know if I true. Who nobody go say me say. But one thing me know elephant man love putting some pretty pretty long hair. Every minute him put him change him hair color, different style of hair color. So we don't know if a if a P did the favorite thing that the the elephant changing hair style and. Is that the request of P. Diddy that he put in red here, blonde here, blue here? We don't know. Just asking. Um, I don't know if P. Diddy, P. Diddy go, if, if, if Elephant is P. Diddy's type. But Elephant was very close to P. Diddy. Very close. Fly up every minute to P. Diddy. You need to come tell Elephant, man, what did I go on? If P. Diddy did I use some of them, some of them baby I left on you. And P. Diddy actually signed Elephant, man, to him label. Then you have, you have Beanie Man. P. Diddy come out Jamaica. And Beanie Man and him. Beanie Man and him perform power and show up a limelight. Uh. Beanie Man hops and hops with him. And Beanie Man and him hug up. Then they hug up. Didn't they hug up on the stage? And P. Diddy was looking at Beanie Man. I was there, you know. I was at the show at Limelight. I was at that show. And I could see P. Diddy looking at Beanie Man a certain way. And I, I was wondering, why, why is P. Diddy staring at Beanie Man like that? Because I was there. So I don't know what was happening there. But Beanie Man in the roll call. Upon the P. Diddy thing. And then that show. That show was put together in 24 hours, you know. By Isaiah Leng. Isaiah Leng and Heavy D. Who put on sting? P. Diddy call Jamaica say I come to Jamaica and he want, he want a sound clash. Named Bad Boy Sound Clash. And in 24 hours, 
They show a plan and book family perform, beanie man. Whole parties perform, pani. But me never like how PD did a look on beanie man, especially. He, he, he had lust in his eyes when he was looking at beanie man. I could see and I was wondering what was going on. So I don't need to come clear up things. I don't need to fix things. Come clear up with the name. If I know so I go, I don't come and tell. I don't need to come out and make we know what was happening. We don't know and P did it. If I don't got any of the baby oil. If no now no did oil up by P did it. Especially elephant man. But Isaiah Leng, the promoter of Supreme Promotions. Oh, you just jump when P did it call you. So all of a sudden, P did it call you. You just jump. Jump up. Put on a big stage show in 24 hours and a plan the big stage show. You are you are you are heavy D. Heavy D and highs are your leg. Plan this big stage show quick, 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 quick. And then hop and hop with PDD, hop and duck with PDD. And now we know that what PDD is about. Everybody's a suspect, you know. Beautiful people, that is what 119 is saying. Now. I don't know what to think, I don't know what to talk. You see what I say, but we there are still. Yeah, my people, and also in closing, we that's where popular YouTuber King and Shay. Yeah, man, we that's where them seems to fall in some hard times as it relates to the United States. It look as if, you know, certain things not go on good for them side, for them and my people. I'm not come out and speak on certain things we are going on to them also. And you know, I say certain things are right and all of that. We are going like take a quick listen at what they are saying. And we can weigh in, give our thoughts and you know, you know, opinion if you know, kind of know of them on the internet, my people. Right? And Bibi and Jamie always have finished the conflicts. Three, three big box me always a buy. And them always have, if me buy three box, then you know, serve for three days. You understand me? So, one at a time now, wish wish hungry. When me check a stock, she said she wants cereal. When we go into the kitchen, no, um, no cereal not in there, right? So the girl, the girl, they buy some cereal. Me not trouble people things, you know. You know, me always have family things no matter where me live. You understand me? I ask the girl, say, you know, say, um, you can give me some of your conflicts. Let me give the baby and then tomorrow me buy it back. She looked at me and she told me, said, no, girl, that's for the house. That's okay. You know what I mean? So, in the, in the, in the morning, I still did have an intention to buy it back. You understand? Know and then, in the morning, no, we should say she want conflicts that are before the Dollar General open. You understand know I me? Mean? And then, I said, Bibi and Jamie, I want to finish the girl conflicts. They said, no, they're not trouble it. You understand me? The girl put in at the room. Anyway, I don't have a problem with that because it's not mine. You understand me? I don't buy it. So I don't have a problem with that. So I walk down to the, the Dollar General and I pick up two boxes of conflicts this time. I leave one pan the fridge no, top. Four, four boxes of No, two. Because I said I don't cut down because I eat too much. Uh, so I wanted to so buy four. Buy I want to buy, buy four and get each one on. Look at now. I buy two, two big box, family box, right? And I leave one pan the fridge top and I carry one in the room. I tell Bibi and Jamie, say, I oh, no, I eat that and I make it serve. The one with me I bring in the room, I feel wish wish. But it's a four before that I used to buy four, not four, three. I always buy three big box. But that day you now, I get up in the morning and I go buy two. I left one pan the fridge top and carry one in my room. And then, look right for that, then now, my ear say, no, my she... boy, she go complain to her mother, tell her mother say, my boy can't flex, I'm going to put you up in my room. Which that now have nothing to do with her. You understand me? Because even Bibi and Jamie, me tell them, say, look here, see one in my room, don't trouble it because of a wish wish. Because they know, say, baby want it, and they have everything else to eat, and they just eat off a whole of cereal and a left back now. She go complain and tell her mother that. Anyway, I'm not say nothing. I'm not say nothing. We have it easy. We have me an easy part. This I'm here telling you. Know. You understand? The next thing now is I look about something. I never feel for cook the day there, you know. You understand me? So I start fry up like something. A big woman, you know, a big old woman, big army. She how much? 39? Big old grey back woman. 
I have pitney. Zane, me fry up some something for me pitney. Them forget for it because I never did want to cook no hard food. The girl go complain to her mother so me cook food and not give her none. You, know, you, you can imagine? I cook food but and I don't give her none. No, the chicken never come in. The chicken never come in yet, daddy. Right, me I mean, tell her the chicken no come in yet. The chicken no come in yet. I me me, 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 me work it down to his party to come in. Right? Then after that, then she start complaining to her mother so I don't talk to her. After all, you know, I don't talk to her. Zin, so her mother take you all away one day and sit down and I say, look here now. I don't really talk, I don't really talk to people. Me, me, me rather sit down in my room all day. You understand me? Sometimes I not even know what I did. She said, I know, that's me too, so I understand. And I tell her mother, she, they, they say, if you sit down and talk about everything, you understand? Yeah, my people, so that mainly that was Shay speaking from King and Shay. You know, as we say, they are popular YouTubers where the pranks and them thing there and, you know, them feature the whole TikTok thing as well. And you don't know, you know, it. And for one of the most unfortunate thing is, you know, the fact that you touch cross in you know, America and you feel like things are got better and you just meet up on some rough and tough life. You see it? And based on my observation of them, it would seem as if them tried over here undocumented so you know say so double tough you see what me and say my people yeah man so that is what them would ask you go on to them household and everybody where pass to america must know say so, yo when it comes down to america you're touching you know you just try to get yourself active and get yourself fit in in terms of job and getting your own money and them thing there because nobody not really there and make you too linger linger up and then strength you see what i say yeah man as a week pass or two weeks pass i'll be a long face i'll be a frowning and them thing there so you have to know where you do and as me say when i think where kind of a rough on them is the undocumentation you see what i say because you don't know from your no no documents you can do this you can do that for yourself on a certain level, you have to rely upon other people, and that is just a major setback. But as I said, people, you don't know how the thing go when it comes to America. Not too safe, big up on yourself, bless up on yourself. I'm